let's look into the custom type definitions in Golang. So let's follow the order here. Let's create a custom validator type, takes string returns boolean. So we're going to define type, which is validator, and it's going to be func, going to take string and return boolean. So that's how we define type in Golang. And so this part is also done. And so we're going to have two functions. First one is, is email. It's going to get the string and return boolean, just like in the type. And we're going to just check string contains add sign. Then, yeah, we're going to return either valid or not. And other one is the this one is long enough. So is long enough. This is taken string, returning boolean as well. And we're checking the length of string. And if it is bigger or equal to eight, and we are returning it's valid or not. And then last function we're going to define is run validation. And this is going to get the validator and string. Not going to return anything. We're just going to check if the string is not, if, if the string is valid, then we're going to say valid. Otherwise, we can do this. Otherwise, not valid. So I'm going to take this. And let's run validation with the, what was the first one? Is email. And with the, some test, this should be valid. And the second one is long enough. Let's keep something short. This should be not valid. Let's run it. Yeah, first one is valid and second one is not valid.